Why do I admire Ganyans? Kana, known as West Africa's golden child, has a diverse and rich culture and tradition. The country is ideal for those looking for a relaxed African vacation destination. Because of its stable democracy and fast-growing economy, this bustling nation attracts investors and tourists from all over the world. Ghana has many attractions, such as sunny beaches, a beautiful hinterland, abundant wildlife, vibrant cities, and irresistible gastronomy. Ghana will always have a special place in my heart as the birthplace of Operation Groundswell. Year after year, we are drawn back into this beautiful country, bringing with us a vibrant, fun-loving, and intelligent crew to share our love. It doesn't take long to realize why we keep returning, but here are some of the reasons. Ghanaians have some of the world's most delectable dishes. A great deal has been written about Ghana's culinary scene. You can sample a variety of traditional cuisine from the country. The locally sourced ingredients, cooking methods, and food presentations make your mouth water, whether you're craving moki or fufu. The superiority of Ghanaian jollof rice over Nigerian jollof rice has long been debated. You'll know which is superior after tasting Ghana's sumptuous jollof rice. Bofrot is a unique take on donuts that you should try if you visit the country. Whatever your culinary preferences are, Ghana has a wide range of delicacies to suit them. Experience the cultural festivals. Ghana is home to numerous tribes, including the Iu, Ga, and Ekan. These people hold lively cultural festivals where you can see some ancient rituals. The Homowo festival, for example, prohibits stereo music and promotes a reflective and calm atmosphere in order to appease their traditional gods. This festival culminates at the ocean, where locals dress in white in preparation for sacrifice. During the Apu festival, women dress as men and men dress as women. This is done to rid society of social evils. Gaiety, ethnicity, and family values pervade the vibrant cultural expression. The locals' cultural diversity can be seen in their artifacts and clothing. Souvenirs from local artisans and craftsmen. From the Gonja cloth of the north to the Kente weavers of Bonwire, Ghana has skilled artisans and craftsmen. These people produce some of the finest fabrics, which can be purchased as a souvenir before departing the country. Some streets have been turned into a vibrant riot, complete with a display of finished traditional outfits, baskets, and sun hats. Numwa's coffin makers will astound you with their craftsmanship. Former US President Jimmy Carter once came here to conduct business with these people. Ghana is a peaceful country. Ghana's thriving economy and long-standing democracy have made the country hospitable to all. The crime rate is low, and the people are very friendly to visitors. Because the country is safe in all weather conditions, visitors can go about their business without fear of being attacked. Rich history firsthand. Due to massive gold deposits discovered in the Ashanti Kingdom between 1867 and 1957, Ghana was once known as Africa's Gold Coast. The wealth accumulated during this time period contributed to the country's rapid development. It's impossible to talk about the slave trade without bringing up Ghana. Relics from that dark era, such as forts and castles that served as trading posts, can still be found in the country. It was the first African country to break away from the British. Enjoy the local music scene. Music is an essential part of Ghanaian culture. Every occasion is an opportunity to listen to great music while dancing, singing, or drumming. Ghana's vibrant music scene and many live concerts bring Afrobeat, high life, and hip life music to the forefront. Ghana's many songs by local artists make you tap your feet and move your body. Get a taste of the tropical paradise. From the Mole National Park to Kekum, Ghana has lush greenery and spectacular national parks. In Ghana, thousands of exotic birds and wildlife coexist with the locals. 
Natural hippo sanctuaries can be found in Wekio and Bobiri, as well as monkey sanctuaries in Tafiatom and Bobing Fima. The Volta Highland region is riddled with caves and waterfalls. Visit pristine beaches and rolling mountains with breathtaking scenery in other parts of the country. Indulge in water adventures. Many private paradises in Ghana offer an unspoiled water world. If you're looking for a place to get away in West Africa, Kokra Bike Beach has a party atmosphere that attracts visitors from all over the world looking for fun and water activities. Some beaches are ideal for water skiing, yachting, surfing, and just hanging out with friends. Visit the historical mud mosques and castles. A visit to North Ghana reveals ancient white mud mosques, especially the Larabanga Mosque. A charming broad rectangular structure with spiked timber struts and whitewashed mud walls. Cape Coast Castle, Elmina Castle, and Christiansborg Castle are among Ghana's forts and castles. The Kumasi Fort, for example, depicts the slave trade. Experience one-of-a-kind activities. Ghana has exciting tours for everyone, whether you are a seasoned athlete or a beginner. Hike, walk, bike, or simply observe in many parks and mountainous areas. Hiking waterfalls is an option when visiting the Volta region. On the traditional wooden Duga canoe, you can take a customized inland cruise across lagoons, lakes, or rivers. Take a canoe ride through the Amansuri wetland to see the 400-year-old stilt village of Nzulezo. A tropical paradise. The landscape of Ghana is a stunning mosaic of waterfalls, rolling mountains, crystal white beaches, and winding red dirt roads through the countryside. Whether you enjoy hiking, surfing, or canoeing, the country is brimming with stunning natural wonders and incredible biodiversity. There are numerous national parks to visit, including Kakam National Park, which has Africa's only canopy walk, and Mole National Park, where you might spot some wild elephants or antelopes from your Jeep if you're lucky. Ghana also has the tallest waterfalls in West Africa, the Ruli Falls. Not only is it a stunning natural wonder, but the difficult hike to get there demonstrates your strength and makes the cool rushing water of the falls all the more refreshing. Ghana is a bit budget-friendly. As a result of the COVID situation, Ghana is becoming less touristy. As a result, now is the best time to visit Ghana and have an unforgettable vacation. When I visited the country, I did not spend a lot of money. You can easily live comfortably for a lot less money than you would in other developed cities. Public transportation, living expenses, alcoholic beverages, and food are all reasonably priced. Food and drinks are inexpensive if you eat at local establishments rather than tourist traps. You can spend your weekend getaway in Ghana and return to work refreshed and energized on Monday. Ghanaians are friendly. Ghanaians are warm and friendly to visitors. Akwaba, a local greeting that means welcome, warmly greets you. The locals make you feel loved and at ease with their smiling faces and eagerness to assist you in settling down quickly. The friendly people, without a doubt, are the number one reason for visiting Ghana. Maintain a relaxed pace throughout your vacation so that you can enjoy socializing with friendly and curious locals wherever you go. These are just a few reasons why I admire Ghanaians. Have you ever visited Ghana? What are the amazing things you found? What makes you admire Ghanaians? Please let us know in the comment section. Please like this video and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more exciting content.